Today on Attack of the Show. Coming up, we've got an entire hour of Nintendo Wii launch coverage, so buckle up and secure your wristbands. We always get by with a little help from our friends. We've got tips, tricks, and techniques on how to slash that Wiimote with precision. And from Madden to Zelda, we're showing off all launch titles and the hardware that makes them flow. All this and more on a live and Wii-filled Attack of the Show, starting right now. Yeah, welcome to Attack of the Show, TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. It's Monday. November 20th. My name is Kevin Pereira. Yeah, and I'm Blair Butler. The lovely Olivia Munn is out on assignment. So we are coming to you live from the G4 studios in Los Angeles, and today is our one-hour Wii special. Yes, the revolution has begun, my friends. Nintendo released their next-gen console yesterday, uh, another midnight launch, which yes. was ridiculous. And we're going to fill you in on everything that went down with said launch. Mm -hmm. Yes. And once we're done, stick around for brand new episodes of X-Play and Cheat, where they'll break down all the launch titles. You'll find out what games to buy and get all the info on how to beat them. Now, the last play in the console wars has officially entered the ring. Nintendo's chosen to really gamble on gameplay over graphics, and we're going to see if they've succeeded. Yes, strap in gamers, the Wii has launched. Looked like, on Heroes. looked like an archived episode of Buck Rogers. <laughs> that was awesome. Could see now, little strings holding the console, right. actually. Ooh. Now, the site of the official launch was in New York City at the Times Square Toys R Us, and Reggie fils was there to sell the first systems to diehard fans who camped out for days. Do they know you don't have to punch the TV? They and they wore ties. Sense that. They're like crazed yeah. businessmen. Drunk New Yorkers. <laughs> Uh, not to be outdone by Sony, Nintendo threw their own party for the cool kids. Mm. Of course, they, we were there to cover it. They had music, dancing, celebrities. Because celebs love the games. They do. Pac-Man and, and Grand Theft Auto normally. Yes. But nevertheless. The we're going to have games. more on that later. All in all, over 600,000 units were sold mm. in the United States. Uh, and compared to really like a, a 360 or a PlayStation 3 launch, this thing was a, like a huge smashing yeah, success. Those are huge initial sales. And, mm -hmm. you know, thankfully, no one was shot or stabbed or beaten like the uh, PS3 Where's lines. The excitement? Yeah, everyone actually seemed to be in a really good mood about the Wii. I actually went to the, uh, the Wii event here in Los Angeles at the uh, EB Games in uh, the Universal City Walk. Oh, yeah? They had about 600 consoles in stock, but apparently over 1,000 people in line. I mean, it was ridiculous. The thing snaked all the way out to the parking lot. It took minutes mm. to walk. So were there still some gamers left out in the cold that didn't get their little Wii, their some hands gamers, on the Wii? Yeah, some gamers, Wii little tear. Uh, but it wasn't like a PlayStation 3 line, and that's what was so weird is that everybody was civil. Mm. I, I hate to say it, some people were actually nice. That's freakish. Yeah, yeah, and everybody's like playing DS. There was some, you know, Mario Kart going right. on. People were picto chatting. I would, oh. I would start with the testy satchel, and someone else would add the meat they'd, to the chicken. They'd and put the dangle on there. It was, it was a community dangle. effort to draw the best possible wang in the picto chat rooms. <laughs> it was a heartwarming moment, really. Uh, in fact, someone on our, on our staff yeah. even found like a mom and, and her kids that were at the way back of the line. Kids started to cry. Mom didn't know what to do. Sold the Wii face value. Made no profit at all. Uh, as a, just a kind gesture. Oh. Yeah, to try and make up good karma for years of methamphetamine abuse. And an so, angel got its wings. An angel got its wings. Very yeah. heartwarming story. An actual G4 employee did that. Yeah. Touching. Hard Touching. to believe. <laughs> now, I also heard that you were doing a little uh, entertaining of your own in the line, Kevin. Is this true? I heard their foot. Okay, oh my so. God. All right. Yeah, Whoa. thank you. Thank you, by the way. Is that a man? man. All right. Uh, yes, it is. He didn't want to drop his, <laughs> his pants either because he was wearing tidy whities but. Um, I am scarred for I life. got trashed. And I'm not talking, like, not like, oh, a glass of red wine and I'm feeling pretty good kind of trash. Like, once I found out my Wii Media Pass was good for free drinks, well, I was a poor ambassador of gaming for G4. I just, I was like, I was looking at my watch and I said, okay, it's 10 o'clock. We got two hours until they start selling right. the things. It's going to take another three hours to get up there. Let's just do shots of Double Jack. And then a man's pants fell off. That well, is, yeah, that yeah. Is I goaded him into it and then gave magical. him a cup check before I left. So oh. I hope you enjoy that. Sell the Mondays on eBay. That is much worse than the dangle on the DS. But when I got home, this is what I found. Look at that. That's my booty. Oh, no. I did good. You got Except so smashed you bought red steel. That's the problem. Is that 
Most alcoholics wake up the next day with like, oh, who or what did I sleep with? <laughs> was it at least human? I woke up with red steel and a hangover, and I was so because there's no cure for red steel. With the saddest game no. and the, the make my sword flail weekly. We're gonna um, actually discuss the sordid mess that is red steel and game break later on, but I will be taking mine back to the store. Nice. That was the one rough spot. I don't remember buying it, which is the weirdest thing. That's what happens in blackouts. You it's do tough. things you regret forever. Tough. The Shame. EB Games guys were gentle, though. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, now, if you're one of the lucky few that you have gotten your Wii, you've already experienced mm -hmm. that Christmas-like joy that of, you know, cracking open the box and getting all N64 kit on it, getting yeah. all giddy. Getting giddy, but if you weren't lucky enough to get your hands on one, we're going to show you what's inside that magic Wii box, the uh, Brico Wii. Oh, there it is. Ah. Brand new, unopened Wii right here. Uh, Actually, this one belongs to Kristen Holt. So oh, I nice. promised I promised I would take good care of it. I started by slamming it on the All table, right. but let's be very gentle. Okay, let's get down to business, and I will try not to break anything. All right. So this bad boy comes out, and it's actually two different trays. You, you took tray number two. We must have had it upside down. Tray number two. But there's dose. one and a two, and Adam managed to drop tray number two on his foot. So I'm going to ask him about that uh, <laughs> later on. But, you know, here it Breakage. is. Breakage. You get it out. Oh. You got the console. So kind of yeah. heavy for being uh, such Ooh. a small, tight package, but... It's like the monolith from 2001, a Space on. Odyssey. Sh show, show them the ports, Blair. Go show ahead. Show them the ports. Pop the hood. Pop oh, the hood wait, on wait, that wait. thing. Pop in the hood. Oh. Show them the ports. We got some You're there's... asking a total Luddite there, to there's try There's two, two flaps there, one for your GameCubes, another for your memory cards. It's like asking a Mensa reject to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Assemble the puzzle. puzzle pieces. Got the nunchuck, got the sensor bar, and this is going to be the hardest. I'm trying to bring this console home for Thanksgiving. This is going to be the hardest part is this tiny little infrared sensor bar right here. Once you get this bad boy uh, unwrapped, slap it on top of or below your TV, mm. you're good to go. It's uh, the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, so there you have it, the Wii in all its glory. Oh, um, actually, it's, that's, that's, we're not done, because on, on Friday, I don't know if you sh we shut off the, the PlayStation 3. Yeah. And Olivia didn't know about the tradition, uh, but I told her oh. about the, the ceremony that's supposed to take place, and, and here's what happened. She let passion. <laughs> all right, and now, Miss Mun, it's time for the ceremonial mm. tongue bathing of the next generation console. Go. <laughs> oh, you're going to throw it back to me? Yeah. I like it. That's... You think they're going for a lot on eBay? Wait till you get this one out there. <laughs> oh. So, I mean, I think it's time to pass the torch. I think everybody would agree as well. If we could, um, what do you want? You want to take the SD card slot? The if, sync button? If I do this, it will wind up on YouTube for the rest of my life. As it should. And it's going to end up in Kristen Holtz Entertainment Center. So why not personalize it? Let's get a little, uh, little butler saliva right there. Come on. Kristen, I'm very, very sorry. Yes. Take it slow. Take it slow. Ah. Uh, is that it? I don't think that was a good angle. We didn't see tongue console contact from that angle. Let's try, like, uh, let's get some GameCube ports here. Just a nice side angle for the kids at home. They really. Kristen's ports are going to be. <laughs> I'm not going to. You're going to short I'm it out. I'm not going to lick gonna Kristen's ports on TV. Ah, all right. That didn't sound right. It didn't sound. You can't, you can't talk about this console oh, without it sounding man. terrible. And not just licking ports, but Kevin, it's like. Kevin, go play with What are you doing Wii. tonight? Oh, I'm going to go play with my Wii. Oh, no, no, it's cool. Wii. My buddies are coming over. We're all playing with my Wii. It's like, there's nothing you can do to sound How cool. How many guys can play it. with a Wii at once? Yeah. Four. Four. Amazing. With Kevin. If anyway, the, yeah. there you have it. That's what you get when you open up the Wii. It's, uh, it's a sensual experience, really. Yeah, yeah. Leave it to Kevin to sexualize the unpacking of a console. I do it for the demo, Blair. I do it for the demo. All right, the launch of Nintendo, uh, the, the Nintendo's Wii, it was a global event. People lined up around the world to be the first to get their hands on what might be the most innovative gaming device ever. Yes, so our roving investigative reporter, Zach Selwyn, hit the streets of New York to party with the crowds lined up in Times Square. Yo, we came to the heart of New York City. I'm talking about Times Square to see what kind of magic Nintendo brought to help launch their new video game console, the Wii. And this is what went down. What are you in line for, my man? Nintendo Wii. How long you been here, my man? A week. 36 hours and counting? 18 hours. Two hours, 59 seconds. We got it, man! After this, we're going to head back to our hotel. We're going to play the games and see what the, you know, the system's about. I have not lived until I have played the Wii. All right, I'm standing here with the man, Nintendo's favorite son, my boy Reggie Fisame. Made this whole thing happen. You're throwing a party in Times Square. It looks like you took it over out there. Yeah, we're, we're throwing a big party, and we did take it over. We've had great entertainment out there, keeping the fans happy. We've got something like 2,500 fans lined up around the store, and we have more than 2,500 units here in the store. So every fan who wants a Wii is going to get a Wii. We want to bring gaming back to the masses. What that means is make it accessible, make it fun. At midnight, the doors opened, and the fans got to get what they've been waiting for. 
then I'm gonna go play my Nintendo Wii, guys. And now, uh, when you guys get your system, you'll be able to enjoy it just like me. All right, the wait is finally over for Wii, and I think we can safely say we came, we saw, and we kicked some serious ass. 2,500 units in one store. And the Reginator. I think, yeah, and, and Reggie, which, I mean, like, seriously, Nintendo knows what it's doing when it launches a console. I, I mean, think that was, they do. You gotta, incredible. you gotta feel bad for Sony. They tried so hard, and really, it's just not that, not the love. But it starts now, right. the next generation of gaming. Yes. Because Sony said so, and yes. Nintendo did. Right now. Right now, though, it's time for the only news that you need to know. So here's Layla Kaylee and the next gen feed headlines. Ooh. Thanks guys, here's what's coming up in the feed. First, the Nintendo Wii launched and it went a whole lot smoother than the PS3. Plus, not all gamers who got the console had a good day. And we'll show you what happened at the Wii's LA premiere. It's all coming your way in the feed. But first, back to you guys. Thanks, Layla. Now, we here at Attack of the Show, we've been overloaded with Wii questions for months now. Everybody yes. at home wants to know about these consoles. They want to know about the Wii. Yeah, so uh, it's really, everybody's excited. It's time that we really should answer as many questions as we possibly can. So let's Absolutely. get it started. Absolutely. So first up, here is Matt from North Carolina. I was able to get a Wii during launch day. It's pretty awesome, but do you guys think developers can keep making enough innovative games to keep this system around for another three to four years? Yep. Yeah, I think they can. Uh, you know, the, it's interesting because the PS3 also launched, but what we've been hearing constantly is that developers, it's very difficult to develop for the PS3, that it's taking them a long time. That's why there sure. were so few launch titles. You've got to do art assets that scale up to 1080p, right. you have to get, process, sell processing power, yada, yada, so on and so forth. Yep. The, the thing that I like about the Wii is that I, I liken it to the, the Nintendo DS. This thing first right. came out, and at first I said, okay, this is, this is innovative, but it could get gimmicky really quick. All right. the launch titles. Stylus and yeah, all the launch titles felt like little tech demos. Look at it a few years years later and now there's amazing experiences on the handheld so hopefully in a year two years time developers really figure out how to use the Wiimote. Absolutely and you know I think it'll be just as much fun as the DS which I'm playing brain age. I, I completely agree it's going to be amazing. Now, the Wii it's available now and for those who brave the long lines this weekend you're now proud owners but while Nintendo's launch titles may be more fun than the PlayStation 3's, will the good times last? Is Nintendo's new system more than just a fancy controller? You know how I feel. Yeah. Uh, well I think it's time for our poll question. Is the Wii just a gaming gimmick? Vote at our website, g4tv.com slash AOTS, or text your vote to G4TXT. That's 44898 to vote and register for an AOTS Live News Alert. Now, the Wii has really brought fun and excitement back to gaming. Everybody's taken notice. Right. Oddly enough, PBS's documentary guru, Ken Burns, right. even he is excited for the Wii. Wow, well, only he could capture the nostalgic Americana of the hype behind waiting to get a Wii. <laughs> so here are some letters from the front lines. A letter from James to his wife, Martha, November 14th, 2006. Dearest Martha, we have been camped out for days, and I am beginning to fear the worst. Advance reports tell us that the reserves at Burbank Best Buy are running low, and a faulty Blu-ray lens decimated the stores at Comp USA. Game bundles are plentiful, but I see not how. War profiteering, I say. The nerve of such scoundrels. But I will not let my spirits fall. Our cause is just, Martha. Soon, I shall be returned to the homestead, whence we shall delight in the silken frame rates of Ridge Racer 7. I remain your humble servant, James. And we'll have more letters from the front line throughout the show. That's yeah, okay Stay to love it. it. It's okay to love it. Share the love. Stay with us, or we might just blunderbuss your ass. We'll be right back. The Wii is here, and so are the new games. But before you get all worked up, take a much-needed game break. And from tackles to touchdowns, we've got the tips to get your team to the Super Bowl. Welcome back to the live Attack of the Show Wii special. We're TV's only source for all the stuff you care about and are covering the Wii phenomenon like nobody else. So much so that um, I'm actually seriously considering having the Wiimote permanently affixed to my hand. Let's go over to Kevin before I get any more crazy ideas. That's actually a pretty sweet idea, Blair. I think you should, you should consider it. Uh, all right, now you lined up, you emptied your wallets for it, you played it nonstop over the weekend. Your Wii isn't going anywhere, so put the nunchuck down because now it's time for Game Break. <laughs> Game Break. 
To my left, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb, who I think were, were, was, you were trying to control me or scrabble I, I my was, brain, or what was that there? It's, just, it's too tempting to just kind of... Just Look, I'm cutting your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you find yourself wanting to control, like turn on lights and you know, pet yeah. the dog with that across the room? It's it makes life so much lazy. It really is. Yes. Um, if only it worked. Hey, uh, yeah. who got component cables? Show of hands. Any, uh, anybody? I'm sitting on my hands right Yeah, now. this is... Wow. I, mean, it, 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 I hate it, to kick off Game Break. I'm very excited about the console. And I, I hate to kick console. it off on this note, but come that, on. But that's all everyone's been talking about. Dude, did you get any component cables? Really, it's like really good crack or something. And you, right? I, I really wanted the component cables, and no one has them. No one has them. All right. Well, let's it's, talk about the controller, though. Now yeah. we spent some time with it. It's officially out. You, you, you like it? You're a fan? I like how I can buy this, but not the nunchuck at the store. <laughs> <laughs> What happened here? I plenty of consoles, plenty of <laughs> yeah. remotes. Why, why the shows on the nunchucks? You know, I, 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 I think they don't, I mean, they have, they have such a great launch and they have the good console, but they're not thinking, oh my God, this is such a big deal. We need to also bolster the supply of all the peripherals. Right. Because really, when I got home, the first thing I want to do was show this off to somebody else, which means I wanted them to play with me. I'm glad I had a second controller set because I was already... Somebody was anyway. smart and got a second controller uh, set. I, I <laughs> impulse bought them all, so even while blackout drunk, I function as a gamer. Well. But did you get Zelda? Very happy. I did get okay, Zelda. Good, good. Uh, Twilight Prince, I still haven't cracked it open, so you guys have really got to guide me through this one here. Well, well it's hard because you don't want to actually play it until you get your component cable. It's, that's it's, that's why I'm now, waiting. but I, I will say this because because that, that was a huge hanger for me. I, I I you know I'm watching it on my high def screen with the composite cables. It looks much better than like seeing it at a lot of stands over over the you know development of the Wii and and Twilight Princess. It looked better, so maybe earlier builds just didn't have all the polish. But on. now, what about the game? Because uh, uh, fans have been waiting this for ages. There've been some criticisms. I think even Gamespot, you know, they hate the had notorious to, Gamespot they, review. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, yeah, but but even they had to come back and say, hey, listen, you know, it's not that we don't, it's not that we hate the game. It's just yeah. it's the same gameplay that we've been playing for years. Right. Has Nintendo gotten lazy, or no. is it still amazing? Okay, how about this? It's every, what, three, four years and a Zelda game comes out, yes, it's familiar, but it's really good. I mean, if, if somehow I was obligated to have to play it, and it was every six months, I would feel, okay, you guys have to, you know, right. punch it up a bit. But it's But big, Zelda's not it's like fun. Madden. It's not a yearly roster yeah, update exactly. and some no, new pigs get slaughtered in the field. It has a very new look, and it's, it's a, you, know, you can sword slice, and then you can do your spin attack. Oh, they just did it on the screen. See, you look. Yeah, you doing it right there. You control the B-roll. Uh, okay. It's Zelda. If you know, know Zelda, you love Zelda, you're going to love Let's Zelda. go on to the one that surprised and me the most, though. Of course, you got the horse. But what about rabbits? Did I mentioned there was a horse. Okay, yes. raving rabbits. Morgan, tell me, because this game surprised the hell out of me. I found it's myself so actually yeah. laughing at a video game, which I haven't done since some of the well, old Day of the Tentacle, Sam and Max stuff. I should start with saying that this is the perfect game if you want your friends to come over and you want to show them yes. what the Wii can do. Mm -hmm. They're mini games. They're a lot of fun. They're easy to pick up and play. So you can get like three people, four people coming over and just playing Rayman and it's Ridiculous! You're filling up their diving mask with carrot juice. This one, this one is the so much fun. The shooter is so much yeah. fun. Adam, what does it say? What does it say when the mini game in uh, in a Rayman mini game collection <laughs> is more intuitive and more f satisfying than Red Steel, which was supposed to be about yeah. this first person shooter? Well, shooting. it's also I th th Red Steel concerns me in a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. uh, it's this is the one that's supposed to show that, hey, we're still doing the mature thing. You know, this is, I think, the only M-rated game here at the mm -hmm. launch. Obviously, in the tone and the feel of it, and it's a shooter, it's not... A it, it, it's a lot of good ideas that never really mesh together all that you know, well. It's clunky. I think that it, it is clunky. I'm sorry that you bought it and you can exchange uh, it. I haven't I've taken the streak brat off, okay. off, so I'm good. Well, you know, I think that they bit off more than they could chew. Like, they really right. wanted to put these ideas into a video game, and maybe in a year we're going to see a really good video game with all of these ideas in it, and they'll have polished it, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you're I'm trying to turn doorknobs, and you're like, uh, Red Steel 1, I'm taking it back, but but uh, real quickly, excited yeah. for perhaps Red Steel 2. Maybe they can flush this so. out and fix I'm it open. in the city. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be some knowledge sharing, like the, like the Metroid team, which is also doing a shooter, will say, hey, here, we did a complex shooter. Here are some ways that you can help make it. Uh, sure. Dip it more finesse. Until and then. Rayman's for adults, too. Yeah. Yes. Until then, though, plungers. Until then, oh, plungers. plungers. It's all about with plungers. plunging bunnies. All right, thank you guys for joining us for today's game break. Everybody, be sure to stay tuned because coming up after the show, Adam and Morgan, they're right back with an all-new episode of X-Play. They'll be bringing you first reviews of all the Wii launch titles, and Morgan will be controlling Adam with the nunchuck and Wiimote. It's Look, she makes him do some, oh, I'm even dumber now. Some ridiculous <laughs> stuff. All right. I wish I had the plunger, Adam. Let's go back to my partner in climb, Blair Butler. Blair. Woo! Woo! Blair. 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 Thanks, Kevin. Most new Wii owners picked up The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on Sunday, so here's the best Wii games to buy that aren't Zelda. It's time to attack this. First up, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz feels right at home on the Wii thanks to the intuitive controls on the Wiimote. 
In addition to 100 challenging game levels, there's about 50 mini games, including monkey bowling and whack-a-mole. And for the first time in any Super Monkey Ball game, you can finally jump. Yes, jump. Just flick your Wiimote upwards. Next, Excite Truck, which is the first Wii game that lets you create your own soundtrack by uploading your favorite MP3s off an SD card. To control your truck, the Wiimote turns into a steering wheel. Tilt the controller left or right to steer and, when you catch air, angle the remote to level out your truck and land on all four wheels at the same time. And you just heard from Adam and Morgan about Rayman Raving Rabbids, and we can't recommend it highly enough. It's a complete departure from your standard Rayman game. This time, Rayman's battling horrible little bunnies in 70 unique mini-games. There's lots of twisted humor and surprises here. And finally, if you're too young to have played some of the classics or just want to replay them, the Wii Virtual Console games are definitely worth buying, especially considering their price. Among our favorites so far, F-Zero, Sonic the Hedgehog, and The Legend of Zelda. The games range from $5 to $10, and unlike the Xbox Box Live Arcade, Nintendo has chosen not to tinker with the original gameplay. That's today's Attack This. Visit g4tv.com slash AOTS for links to all these games. And still ahead, we'll take you to the Wii's Hollywood blue carpet premiere in the feed. And Cheats Kristen Holt will be coming by to tell you how to stiff arm the competition and dominate Madden 07 for the Wii. You're watching TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. Welcome back to Attack of the Show and our hour-long Wii special. We are TV's only source for all the stuff you care about, and we're telling you everything you need to know about the next-gen console that just may change gaming forever. And that's... I'm, I'm being serious, by the way. Let's go over to Blair and our very special guest. Thanks, Kevin. Joining me is G4's cheat strategy expert, Kristen Holt. Welcome, Kristen. I love that I was introduced as a special guest. That yes. is so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Yes, now today uh, we're going to break down the most popular franchise game of all time, Madden, and see how it plays out on the Wii. Now, Kristen, first, I, um, I'm going to apologize for licking your Wii, and that was <laughs> totally Kevin's fault. It's okay. That, this is the only day that you're ever allowed to do that. And it better be put back into the box properly. I, that's all I want to say. Okay? I'll reassemble it with care. <laughs> but uh, as for Madden, it's this huge franchise, and what makes it a success is that anyone can be an armchair quarterback. Now that we have to get physically involved, is, is the game is going to be good or harder, or what's going to what's the deal? I know it's going to be a change of pace for some people, but it's not that difficult. Like any game, it takes skill to win, and I've got some tips to keep you from ending up at the bottom of the division. Madden 07 for the Wii has more moves than Emmett Smith on Dancing with the Stars. That means the controls can get a little tricky. Don't worry, Coach Holt has it all figured out. Let's kick things off with the kickoff. Press the A button to start the kick while pointing the Wii remote down. As your kicker starts his run, quickly swing the controller up. The faster you swing it, the further the kick goes. Tilt the remote left or right while doing this motion to slice the ball in either direction. To signal a fair catch on a kick return, wave the controllers upward. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. To hike the ball, swing the Wiimote up during the line of scrimmage. Hold the B button and do the same movement to perform a hard count and trick the defenders. <laughs> to choose the receiving target, hold the B button and use the plus control pad to select the receiver. To pass the rock, swing the Wiimote forward. Swing it slowly to lob. They'll go with a play fake. Going deep, looking for something in the end zone and quickly to throw a bullet pass. After the throw, press A to select your receiver and lift both controllers upward to catch the pigskin. There are many maneuvers available while in possession of the football. Press the Z button to sprint or hold C to protect the ball. To perform juke moves, swing the nunchuck either left or right. Swing both controllers in the same motion to do a double juke. To execute a spin move, press the A button. Hold the B button to dive or tap it to slide. You can plow through the defenseman by pushing both controllers forward. To break free from tackles, drum both controllers up and down. Finally, there are two important defensive moves to memorize. To swat the ball, swing the Wiimote forward. To deliver a big hit, push both controllers forward while holding down the Z button. Save me a dance in the end zone. 
Oh, what a lovely dance. You know, I, I've never been, I have to admit, a big Madden fan, but that actually looks cool, the idea of using the Wiimote. It's awesome. You have to check out Madden on the Wii. I think it's so much more fun to play it on the Wii than any other console. You can see more Madden, more Wii tips, and more of me on tonight's episode of Cheat at 8.30. Score. <laughs> All right, right now, let's go back to our show's very own armchair quarterback, Mr. Kevin Pereira. Move for the two! Hot! <laughs> It would have been better if there was a prop for the prop humor, but that's improv, kids. Thanks, Blair, by the way. All right, we're going to have more Wii coverage ahead on this special edition of Attack of the Show. So special, in fact, that I took the short bus to get here, but you knew that by now, so thanks. Layla finds out why Hollywood loves the Wii. Soon we're going to have, have relations like this. And you say you want a revolution, but the Wii wants to change the world. You'll only know how the Wii holds up if you're in the loop. A letter from James to his wife, Martha, November 15th, 2006. Dearest Martha, they say this war would rend families in twain, and alas, but for a sight today, I would have called them false. It is with a heavy heart that I report a spotting of my wayward brother, Reginald, in a line on the other side of Ventura Boulevard, waiting for the Nintendo Wii. Who has my Tetris card? As of late, our camps have begun exchanging playful taunts across the thoroughfare, but soon I know we shall be forced to combat. I know not if I could deal a fatal blow to Reginald, but the Wii, it is Tegay. I mean, Super Monkey Ball, WTF. I remain your humble servant, James. Hey, welcome back to Attack of the Show. We are live, and this is our Wii special I gotta say though, Blair, I'm sort of, uh, I'm disappointed. Yeah? A little bit in the Nintendo fans. No violence. Yeah, it is weird how the fans in the console war reflect the buzz surrounding the various consoles. For example, uh, the Sony fanboys, totally in your face and aggressive, while yeah. the Nintendo fans, they're like Toad and Princess. They're just offering up hugs. Please, please, hugs. come here, let me hug Love. you. And getting kidnapped, but we don't like to talk about that. No, 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 <laughs> no, who? That's another castle. <laughs> right now, though, we've got even more Wii headlines for you. Here's Layla Kaylee with the only news you need to know in the feed. Ooh. Thank you guys, I'm Layla Cayley, and it's time to start the feed. Coming. Nintendo launched at 12.01 a.m. on Sunday, and contrary to the PS3's debut, the day went pretty smooth. Gamers turned out in droves to be the first to own the next-gen console, and it's reported at least 600,000 units were sold. And now, virtual console games are available to download, costing $5 to $10. The games have not been revamped, though your program will be saved automatically if you quit, which you were never able to do before. Also, for more Wii fun, be sure to play around on the Photo Channel. It's one of the best known features on the new console. But many were lucky enough to get a Wii on Sunday, their luck ran out when they got home. Some buyers were surprised to discover when they booted up their console that they needed a startup disc which was not included. These were actually retail demo systems that were mistakenly shipped to stores. And some gamers are reporting dead Wiis within minutes of playing. Some just don't work and some won't read discs. Nintendo is aware of the problems and is shipping off replacements this week. And finally, the Wii had a Hollywood premiere last week, and here's my report from the event. What's up, you guys? I'm on the blue carpet for something most of you were waiting in line for. I'm at the Nintendo Wii release party, so get in line, because I got dips. You know, it, I played it. It's a lot of work. It's like better than cardio. So we're doing something completely different, highly innovative. This remote is an Einstein in here. People can pick it up, and it's a full motion kind of experience. What kind of games do you guys have in Kazakhstan? This Killing gypsy children. They're running down, up and down a minefield. I just feel like Nintendo's classic. Why don't you show me a move? There you go, Thanks. now you gotta like the fish. You gotta do the fish yeah, dance. Yeah. I'm not doing the fish dance. That's it. This is how you do No fish dance for me. As you can see, the Wii was the biggest star there. Well, that's all for today. You can now get the feed to go on your iPod. Search for the feed and iTunes to subscribe. Now you've just been fed. Back to you. Fun 
fact that you might not know about the Wii, it's actually not even in the manual, which I thought was weird. The nunchuck attachment yeah. can be used to actually strangle. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I guess gaming is getting a whole lot more interactive when you can kill your friends pretty, with Pretty much. <laughs> Don't get off that couch. We have lots more ahead on TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. Everyone knows the name, but not everyone knows what the Wii can do. You'll only know if you're in the loop. And it's sleek, compact, and feels your Wii motion. We're breaking down the Wii on AOTS Hardware. Welcome back to Attack of the Show's Wii special. We're live and talking next-gen Nintendo. Now, earlier in the show, we asked you, is the Wii just a gaming gimmick? Well, according to our text message counting scientists at the G4 Laboratories, 83% of you love your newfangled Wii controllers, and you don't think it's a gimmick. So let's go over to a man who's never a gimmick and always the truest professional, Mr. Kevin Pereira. That was the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me, and completely false. What a weekend, folks, really. Nintendo's Wii entered the console war with a blaze of fury. They're offering a new gaming experience, but will their innovation last? I mean, are there enough games, and where the hell are all the component cables and nunchucks? I'm sorry. This ain't your daddy's Nintendo. No, it's the loop. Sense of all the Wii mania from Minneapolis, Minneapolis, that's what I just said. Game Informer Online Managing Edi Editor Billy Berghammer is here, and from Los Angeles, G4 gaming expert Jeff Keeley. Welcome to the loop, gentlemen. Uh, Jeff, I want to start with you, sir. Let's get things going, because I'm thinking just two or three days ago, all this PlayStation 3 chaos and craziness. I mean, did the mania for the Wii even compare, or did you know, Fox News just not care because no one got shot? I think it's a little different. I mean, you know, you and I were both at City Walk on the weekend. I mean, there certainly were a lot of people, but, you know, Nintendo has got a, a very devoted fanboy base. I think those guys came out in droves for the Wii. But I think, you know, you look at PlayStation, the install base that PS2 had, there's just that many more people to kind of get excited about the next PlayStation. But I think, you know, for the, the diehard Nintendo fans, this was just as important as the PS3 launch. Yeah, Billy, it seemed like the excitement was there, and it seemed like there were plenty of fanboys on hand, but was it just the lack of flesh wounds and, and five alarm fires that, that made this seem not as epic? No, I don't think so. I mean, the one thing for the PS3 launch, a lot of people that were standing in line waiting for them, they were going to put them on eBay. There was like 20,000 PlayStation 3s on eBay right. on Friday alone, and um, a lot of people that bought Wii's were buying them to actually play them. Um, the store that I went to to pick up my pre-order... Uh, th everybody was really excited. Everybody was having a lot of fun. People were talking about what games they were getting. It was really very calm and relaxed. And uh, I think, yeah, I think, you, I think you just touched on something which, which is kind of interesting. It's, it, it's almost newsworthy when someone's buying a product for the intent of actually using said product and yeah, enjoying right? it, which is weird. <laughs> now, Jeff, uh, you, you've seen the Wiimote. You've seen it a couple times. Are, yeah. are you impressed with it here? Or, or do you have fun with it? Is it as amazing as everybody says it is? Yeah, I think it's fun. I mean, I, I spent a lot of the weekend playing the Wii, and I think, you know, the Wii, sort of like the PS3 has, you know, a couple good games, a couple really bad games. Um, you know, I think overall... I, I, you I think it's a gimmick, Keeley. Come yeah, on, just I mean, no, say I, it. I, there's, a, there's an element of gimmick, too. I think some games it works really well for, if the game is really designed for the Wii. Then I played something like, you know, Red Steel. I was just sort of horrified at playing that. I'm just like, why can't I just have a PS2 or an Xbox controller to play this game? Because I didn't really feel that the Wiimote added anything to well, it. Well, that's, so, like, that's like judging the PlayStation 3 based off Gundam, which <laughs> you know, everybody else would snicker at. <laughs> yeah, but no, I think, you know, overall, I can't imagine, you know, a year from now playing every game with the Wiimote. Like, Zelda is a great game, but I don't know if the Wiimote really makes the game that much better. All right, Billy, I, I think uh, uh, that's, it's an interesting point. You've seen the, the Wiimote and the Nunchuck. In fact, you were one of the first to really see it at TGS ages ago. Uh, is, does yes. it still remain innovative to you, or is Jeff right? A year later, this thing still it feels like a gimmick. Well, I do have to agree with Jeff you know, on a few things. Um, some games work, well, work really well with it. Um, you know, Zelda works, is, I think Zelda is actually really fun. I get really into it. Um, you don't have to do too much motions. It's not like you're, you know, have to wave your arms around like, like an idiot. You right. know, you can, There's it's very casual. There's no need to crack you your 60-inch projection television from across the living room is what you're saying. No, I've seen people do that. But, yeah. uh, you know, it's really not too much action. But if you want to get into it, you can. It's your, it's your option. Um, Wii Sports, uh, I think, is probably the best thing uh, to demonstrate um, the Wiimote and the Nunchuck and, uh, 
you know, it's a really simple, easy way to pick yeah. up the controller and actually first, you know, figure out the functionality. Well, of course, um, first-party yeah, Nintendo think... games, they, they work well with it. Uh, obviously, Nintendo knows what they're doing. But, Jeff, what about the third-party support? We saw that pretty much break the GameCube in the past. Do you think Nintendo learned their lesson? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, Red Steel, I said I'm not impressed with that. I mean, you know, Madden is, is, is kind of fun, although I'd rather play it on a, a PS3 or an Xbox 360. You know, the, the third-party support, it, a lot of it, you know, skews really young. And I think Red Steel was one game they were talking about is for a more mature audience. That one doesn't work. Then you see, you know, THQ with a bunch of games like that. Trauma Center I'm having a lot of fun with. I like uh, Rayman, Raving Rabbids. There, there's some good games, but I still think Nintendo has a long way to go in terms of, you know, better third-party support and sure. unique games, not just ports of other games. I mean, EA is going to bring the Godfather to the Wii, which I'm just not sure is the right fit. Right. As long as I can pay <laughs> extra for the Nunchuck add-on, thanks to EA, EA's micropayments, then I'm happy. That's the Godfather <laughs> experience. <laughs> Billy, when we're dealing with next-gen games here, it's like uh, people want to be wowed. And, and when they see the graphics on Gears of War, or they see uh, you know, Resistance Follow Man on the PS3, they, are, they, do, they do sort of get taken back, especially if they haven't gamed before and say, wow, these things really look good. Is that a big hurdle for the Wii and getting in that casual gamer experience? Is, it, is that a big hurdle, the fact that the graphics are kind of like a GameCube 1.5? I think yes, yes and no. I mean, well, I guess it depends if you can find component cables. Uh, right. You know, Zelda. Zelda is a great example of how beautiful games can look on Wii. But the funny thing is, is uh, as Nintendo said, Zelda is only pushing the power of the GameCube. It's not pushing the the power of the Wii. And even looking back at certain GameCube games like uh, Resident Evil 4, for example, that game was gorgeous, and Zelda's gorgeous too. If they can go even further than what Zelda's doing. I think, you know, I mean, obviously they're not going to be pushing PlayStation 3 or Xbox sure. 360 capabilities around, but... But nobody's really expecting good, that from a $250 no. console that could, right? I don't think so, all but, right. you know, I think it's all about gameplay. Hey, you're right. Billy and Jeff, I want to thank you guys for keeping us in the loop here. Interesting stuff. Uh, the true test of any successful console is being able to draw in casual gamers, especially with this generation. And, of course, non-gamers, too. So here's a perfect gauge. When my mom starts telling me she wants the Wii, please bring it home for Turkey Day, she's, you know, you know you've got a hit. She immediately la latched onto Guitar Hero. She loves the DS life. She gave birth to me. I mean, there's a pattern here. This woman, she picks winners. Keep that in mind. Right now, we're going over to another winner, Blair Butler. Thanks, Kevin. I'm only a winner in my own mind. Still ahead, we break down the nuts and bolts of the Wii in an AOTS hardware exclusive and show you the electronics behind the innovation. Stay with us. Welcome back to the live Attack of the Show Wii special. We're TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. And right now we're going over to Kevin and tech expert Will O'Neill who are ready to dissect the Wii like a frog. It's time for a AOTS Hardware. Uh, here it is. Here it is. I like the way you, you play yeah. with it. Sensitive. Just tickle it a little bit. Yeah, Kevin's rub, Wiimote. Rub an ice cube around that. Oh, that. yeah. There we go. Uh, this, the is, this is the Wii. <laughs> the alphabet. <laughs> uh, not bad. All right. This is the Wii. Mm -hmm. Impressive little machine. Lots of hardware for cool. really 250 bucks. It's very cool. And like by this point, everyone here at G4 is pretty much well versed, and we're all totally in love with this machine. But now that it's available to the whole world, you know, everyone's going to fall in love with this guy. It's a very cool device. All right. So do them a solid. Let's assume okay. they, they know nothing about the hardware. What okay. are the basics? Can you a little take bit of some that? basics. Basically, it's a small memory system with only 512 megabytes of flash memory, but there is an SD card slot for expansion. But if you're a graphics guy like us, the Wii might not be the best thing for you in the sense that the highest resolution is only 4DP. Mm -hmm. But since the system only comes with the composite cables, HGTV guys are going to have to go out and buy the Wii component set in order to get close to high-def picture. But it's also Wi-Fi equipped, but you can network it the old-fashioned way with an Ethernet adapter that interfaces with the USB ports. It's very cool. So, I mean, lots of, again, SD, Wi-Fi, yeah. they pack this thing full mm. of uh, good features. But really, isn't it about the Wiimote yeah. and the Nunchuck? I mean, these, these are controllers. This hasn't been done with gaming before, yeah, really, it's very not cool. in this capacity. It's totally different. Yeah, it's, it's really different. And the thing, the thing what's great about it, it's basically a point-and-click device. It has accelerometers that sense the direction of the device and even how you're holding it. So if you're holding a sword in your game, you're going to want to hold the, the Wiimote like a sword. If red sensors as well, on the sensor bar, determine you know, where you are in relation to your television. And you can accessorize and expand the controller with you know, abilities and attachments like nunchucks, the classic controller, there's wheels, a lot mm -hmm. of cool stuff that you can buy for it. 
I know you're very excited about it. I'm, I'm super excited for it. I love mm -hmm. that it's, you know, people say, well, the, the PlayStation 3 controller, mm -hmm. that's motion sensitive yeah. as well. The PlayStation 3 controller has no idea where the controller yeah. is in, in, in reference to the television yeah. set. And so what I like about this is that you can it's tell when cool. you're getting in, when yeah. you're getting out. And it's a pretty exciting device. I mean, I'm actually going to go out and get one of these myself as well. And I know that you have one. You're going to have a little a little Wii party tonight. I'm going to have several, several Wii parties. Yeah, it's and pretty exciting. It's it cool. ends with uh, the autoerotic neck around the cord around the neck. Wow, that's disturbing. Kevin. It's what we do. It's what we do. Now, now, what about <laughs> some accessories? There are some coming out for this yeah, thing, right? I mean, people are making add-ons for the it's, Wiimote. Add-on for the Wiimote. The Anun Shocks. Uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft has this, uh, this uh, steering wheel that, that goes with the uh, GT Pro series as well. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a speaker for it that goes on it as well. Yeah, I, I dig that. Uh, you know, it's mm -hmm. a tiny little speaker. Base, you know, it's like a cell phone yeah. speaker in there, but it adds so much to the game when you're, when you're hitting a ball yeah. and it sounds like a ball's coming it's off like of click, your yeah. virtual racket. I mean, I dig it. Yeah, are it's you, pretty cool. Are, are you impressed that they managed to fit all that in there for 250 Yeah, I mean, it, it's a pretty awesome device. And the thing about it, though, like, compared to like, the PS3 or the 360, those guys are just so like, hardware intensive. But this thing, it's like a lot of like, the R&D for this guy went in to sort of developing these new ways of like gameplay, so, like, which is actually very cool because like, the PS3 is neat and everything, but it doesn't do anything that's necessarily all that new and interesting, and that's where this guy's really cool. I'm really completely agree, it. and I think the New York Times agrees with you as well, Will. If For once read in that, my life. That scathing article, yes. All right, we're going to have more AOTS hardware coming up tomorrow when Will breaks down your holiday <laughs> camera options, but right now we're going to uh, go back to Blair. <laughs> Thanks, guys, and uh, you at home flicking your Wiimote at the screen will not cause me to jump or fly off your television set. We'll have more letters from the front lines when we return on our Wii special. Wii. A letter from James to his wife, Martha, November 17th, 2006. Dearest Martha, the day we have waited for fast approaches us. Yet hope was soured by tragedy at the camp overnight. A portly watchman was completely and utterly pwned by a security guard when he tried to cut in line. What cruel fate, Martha. I suppose one never knows when the time of pwning is upon him. And I fear in our desires for next-gen gaming, I too may be pwned. But no, forgive my momentary weakness, love, and dream of my return. You remain ever the heiress to my cloud. Your humble servant, James. James. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow, it's DV Tuesday, and Chris Gore will show us the new discs for The Punisher and Old Boy. And break out the credit cards. We're going to tell you what stores will have the best deals on Black Friday. Kramer's worst nightmare. Ooh. Now, for all the things you saw today and more, go to g4tv.com slash AOTS. <laughs> but don't get up. No, no, no. Stay right there. We've got another full hour of Wii for you right here on the G4. Yes, up next, X-Play will have the first reviews of all the Wii launch titles. And after that, all new episode and all new Wii episode of Cheat. Wii! Woo! Wii! Uh, okay, can I seriously, this has been the toughest show ever. Can I please go play the Wii now? Yes, go play with your okay, Wii. Okay, good. Oh, well, uh, okay. And then the... Just go, okay, bye. go. He's playing with his Wii. <laughs>